Okay, Welcome to Prince Fans and Extension Services, so Alias Space from Nigeria. We set up fans for people, we do a lot of plantations, shipment of products, and different types. I know you'll be following us on different channels, but today we are bringing you to forming the pit of your battery kit. We have three tier battery cages that can carry 120 capacity, 128 capacity, but the cage that we are fixing here is for 96 beds. If we do 120 capacity, it will be too wide for the, the place to be too wide. Therefore, uh, therefore the movement enters and the pathways will not be there. So that is why we decided to do the 96 capacity so that it can enter here. People cannot have a uh, pathway to walk through. Looking at the place now, we finished measuring, measuring here and here. We discovered that this place can take um, six. I mean, eight cages, eight here, eight here, giving you two rows of eight cages, which is 16 cages in a row. In this hall, what this place can take is eight cages, I mean, 16 cages, one row, eight cages, one row, eight cages, giving you 16. So we want to measure the, uh, want to form the pit. Uh, we've measured out the pit, we've been trying to do it since, but we are done doing it. So we've measured it, we use a tape to measure it. So I'm not just measuring sorry for the stopping from the pit to this place. Turn, turn it. Uh, so this place is 1.8. If someone is showing 1.8 in the screen, you see 1.8. Look at one meter here. This is one meter. This is 1.8. The size. Then the length of the full cage is two meter. So put this at the extreme end of that wall. That's outer, it. Outer. outer one. You see, it's two meter. So when you put the cage, the leg will not stand here and there. Then this place now is a pathway where you'll be passing. This place is a pathway. I will create another pathway here from here to here. So you can go through this way to pick your eggs. And you can go through this way also. There's another place here. From here to here, you can walk through here from here to that place to do your to pick your egg. So the spaces are here. <laughs> so please, his brother wants to see you. Please show his brother to him, please. And uh, he's here. You see what we are doing. You see what we are forming. We form this. Uh, we form the pits for the battery cage. Then we are going to make this place. We are going to put two. Uh, what the two coaches of block block here. Then we'll flush it from there down to the other side so that when it's, when you put water pressure if you're, or you're using manual paper, you think I'll scrape it down to the end. This battery case is on, in, I mean, it's a, this is the second battery. The first, the, first, uh, the first floor. The other uh, downstairs is under, but this is the fourth floor where the battery case will stay. So we we'll put two coaches here. Like, let me just go with this one. Two now. Then we'll put flush it from here. We'll fill this place. Then slant it down to that place. So that when you put water pressure, the thing can easily pull down the dumps down to the other side. Or if you are using a manual scraper, you can easily pull it down to the other side. Now, the other side, this is this is upstairs. That is how we construct for upstairs because you cannot let the dogs be pouring out. If it's pouring out, if they're pouring out on the on the uh, on the what would I call the next floor below it, we wouldn't do something like that. I'm going to be putting uh, four inches uh, PVC pipe to make as a channel to bring the dogs down to the ground. That is what we are going to do on the other side. So now let's show you what we are doing in the other side. <laughs> what we've what we've done in that side, we are going to do the same here. From here to here will be 1.8. While from here to here will be two inches. Remember that this stage we are doing is for 96 beds, not for 120 capacity. 120 capacity which is 2.4. Two, two meters point uh, 2.4 meters. But what we are doing here is 1.8 and the outer will be two uh, two meters. 
so that the kids can stay here. We are doing the A to Z so that you understand what we are doing. Because when we are doing a job for you, we will take you by the hand, show you what we are doing. So this thing is, we are doing it so that you and I can be on the same page. So by the time we put that kid from here now, so you are going to set this place again. This way we've already set it, we'll still do it, we'll do the same thing here and put it here too. So because of this, that is us there. Come let me show you what I want to show you. Okay, this place now, we, we, we are going to share this block. We flush from that side down to this split. When it gets to this split, it can easily be falling into this place. There is a line I draw here. We are going to share this block into two. So this split becomes the DPC of this split. From here now, it becomes the DPC. Yeah, okay, okay. Then the dog should be flowing down that because we have cut down this split. This, the height of this split cannot be the same height with this. So we are going to put one block here. We have done it higher, but because it's an upstairs, we want to bring, make it convenient. So we cement this place, this, the dogs will be flowing down from here. This way we are cutting here off. We are cutting here off. So this becomes our DPC in this uh, upstairs, then the thing flows down to this place. When it flows down into this place, this place becomes a gutter or a covert. It goes away where the thing will be, uh, where the dogs will be flowing, flushing down to. When it flushes down to this bit, we are going to put. We are going to put a channel this way. Then, if the dogs are flowing out from the line, I'm just trying to make a simple and something so that the bricklayer will understand what he's doing. Not that I'm doing the bricklayer's job, although, so that you understand. In the case you say it's not straight, it's not straight. We have not, uh, we've not, we've not straight in it. I'm just trying to put a sample on so that you understand what I'm trying to do. Let me just take this one. Are you seeing what I'm doing? So if the dogs, this is the DPC of this thing. If it flows down, if the potty dog flows down from here, it enters this uh, covert or gota, it flows down to this place. Yet they will not do something like a flush from center here, one will flush down to this side. To enable the dogs to be flowing through the PVC pipe, we are going to put here four inches PVC pipe on the ground, so that when the dogs come, come to this side. When it flows down to this bridge, they will put a PVC pipe here. Come out, so that I will show you from here. Come. When you put a PVC pipe here, the PVC pipe, I'm going to put an elbow here, which will bring it down to the to downstairs. So that it will go inside the pit. Then this is where it flows. So we understand the mechanism we did here. So the thing will flow down from that place down to this place, enters into the PVC pipe that will flow down. If we open this place now for the door to be flowing through, it will be pouring on the window of the other floor, which we don't want. Therefore, it will be polluting the environment. So we are going to, the only way we are going to control this is to put a PVC pipe here. Are you seeing the distance? Put a PVC pipe here, then close here, close here. The dogs flows into this place. You can see that this place is higher a little so that the dogs can be flowing down. It's not the same thing with this one. So we are cutting this one off half of it. That is what we are putting here. Flows down. This is how we are going to do it and get to this place. The same thing we did here, we still do it again here. Let me get more blocks. The blocks they are doing, they are not that strong. They are breaking. The same way we had the 
it fits a channel here. That is why we are having another channel here. So that we we'll put another one here. So that the, you know, from here to that place, the dogs that will be coming in will be will be too much. One one channel flow out will not hold it. So that is why we are putting one here, putting one here, so that when it gets to this place, this place will be like here will be a little bit high. It will be flushing down to this side, flushing down to this side. So when the dumps is coming from this place, it will be pouring out here. It will be flowing to this side, flowing to this side. Then we can now use something to either push it down. As it's going, it will now enter through the PVC pipe here. And flow flushes down to the pit. From this place, it flows down to this place. The same thing we've done here, that is what I'm going to do in the other line. Then here now will now become your pathway. Then will become your pathway. We are going to put a slab here, slab here, slab here, then some fill here. Here becomes a pathway too. So you have a pathway here, you have a pathway here, you have a control. This is now the drainage system of this place. So is there anyone who don't understand? Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. I should, I should. Speaker, I should I say speaker, yeah. I understand that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, and why is it don't block here now? Uh, to avoid the mistake. Uh, why is it going to be a lot of money here? Uh, engineer, in a, they don't hear where they talk here. Oh, uh, ma'am. They talk here. Okay. So, I will raise your turn and go over to the thing, guys, because the more hand and one of them, they have to say, yeah, yeah. Now, my one, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going I am an asset beer band way. Ever get bush lab. Ever get bush lab. So I got chalk here. You got a good quest lab. Ever get bush lab. Although what he's saying is just that before I will leave, the uh, engineer have to uh, do flo uh, chalk, chalk, it. chalk it, do it well so that everything will just need to add blocks. Oh, so there will not go. be a challenge. That's mm. all the evil he has spoken. That is what he is me. That is what he is trying to say that the engineer have to shock it before I will leave the site. Ah. So that is what we are trying to do. So is there anything that is not clear again? We are going to tie it to get it straight like this way, straight like this way, everything will be perfect. This same format we've done here, that is what we want to do here too. We are going to do that same thing here too. So should in case you want us to do for you here, especially of your location in Nigeria, remember to reach out to us. Our number again is 080-36-92-57-18. If you are not in Nigeria, remember to put our country code plus 23480-36-92-57-18. We do the A to Z about farm setup, any kind of farm setup, poultry farming, piggy farming, snare farming, fish farming, any type of uh, setup you want. Hello. You can always follow us on our YouTube channel. And you can know what or one or two things you want to learn from us. Ah. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, our website is www.chrisfarmnigeria.com. Anything you want to know, uh, any we are in okay, all the social media. We, 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 are, we are in all the social network, please. So yeah. all you need to do is um uh, all you just need to do is uh, all you just need to do is uh, click follow us on Chris Farms and Extension Services and Chris Hello? Farm Nigeria. And you will be able Hello? to know whatever we want to do. So do have a nice day. Thank you very much for choosing Christmas Nigeria. Always know that your satisfaction is our optimum desire. Thank when you. you